Okay guys, Alex here, vlogging from a cafe in Poland. The only time I get to do these vlogs and they're so busy is uh, during breakfast. So this is a general overview of the UK court system. I, I, the main thing to understand about the UK court system, which is applicable in England and Wales, Scotland has a different system, is that we have three key tracks, the multi-track, the fast track and the small claims track. Again, the small claims track is meant to keep lawyers out of the equation so that you won't get your legal fees if you win your case, even if you win your case, because the general principle is that the loser pays the winner's uh, costs in civil litigation, genquia, and uh, the fast track and multi-track um, multi are costs, what called cost-bearing tracks. And <laughs> everything in life is about money in this day and age. And never is that it never was that more true than in the case of civil litigation. Track allocation really is the critical thing because if you've got a claim that's uh, under ten thousand pounds in value, obviously, then your legal fees aren't covered if you win. But also, if you're then this is a general litigation uh, vlog. This is a general litigation website. It's not just specific to small claims. Uh, so if your claim is fast track, which is anything, typically anything up to 25,000, then you, uh, although you might get your, uh, well you will get your uh, legal fees covered by your opponent if you win your case, you might not get your full legal fees because of the law of proportionality and costs and that's been a big sea change. Now not only must costs be reasonable and necessary, but they must also be proportionate. And that's an area of law that's very new and we've not yet got landmark rulings from the Supreme Court or, or even really the Court of Appeal. There is actually a Supreme Court case going through right now to tell us what that actually means in practice. Now, what it means for you as Joe Public with a dispute is that uh, if it's just a small value fast track claim and it's not complex, let's say it's 15,000, as I say 10 to 25 grand, it's the yardstick, not every claim that's of that monetary value will necessarily be fast track, okay, but that's the yardstick that the courts and the judges use, then, uh, then you know, a judge down the line might look at your legal fees and say, well, I'm not sure that they are proportionate to, let's say, the claim value and therefore you won't get them in full. So when you're using lawyers in fast track and multi-track multi -track claims, that's something to bear in mind. Now if your case is a multi-track case, over 25,000 complex case, you know, more than a one day trial, small claim is usually half day, fast track one day, then you can start to go to town a little bit on the co uh, you know on costs and you kind of in a way when you're looking at whether to instruct a lawyer uh, if it's you know if it's a small claim you might want a bit of support service if it's a fast track sure use a lawyer but be aware that you might not get your full legal cost back even if you win okay if it's a bigger claim a multi-track claim then you you know you, you probably will get uh, most if not all of your legal field uh, legal fees back and so in a multi-track claim especially since multi-track claims are more complex you're looking like you're going to need a lawyer okay so that's the the track system that is predominant in i mean there are exceptions at bigger different cases there are certain specific courts like a commercial court or chancery courts but in general for the bread and butter type disputes you're looking at uh, those three tracks. Now, I'm just also going to say one other thing about the sort of the sea change in the court system and this is not so much of a recent sea change it's been around 20 years but the emphasis is on trying to settle matters before issuing proceedings. So you should always be looking at alternative dispute resolution before bringing your claim. Could be appointing a mediator to try and knock heads together and arrive at a settlement. Uh, but there are other sorts of alternative dispute resolutions where you can go outside the actual court system itself in order to try and that's the critical word, trying to resolve your dispute without having to go to court. 
the government, the courts are very keen to try and minimise the number of claims running through the system right now. Okay, so that's another, another important thing to be aware of. You can, there's a video on, this, on, on mediation, you don't have to wait, um, sorry, you don't have to mediate or use alternative dispute resolution before you issue proceedings, because you can actually ask for a stay for, for alternative disputes, a mouthful, isn't it? ADR. Um, you, you can ask for a stay after you've issued proceedings. Okay, now the other thing to be alive to and aware of, at least in the county court, civil court system, yeah, is that issue fees can be quite substantial. So again, you know, dissuading people from using the court system and also paying for the court system. And this is a real injustice in my view, um, it's, but as I say, it's the money world that we live in. So, so there's been a drastic change in the size of the court fee. It's much, much larger now. So for example, if you're bringing a, a £100,000 claim in the courts, then t typically as a yardstick, 5% will be the issue fee. And you think about 5% of an issue fee in £100,000, What's that as five grand? Now that hundred thousand may actually be kind of tied up, a capital or an asset or a property or a house that you can't immediately get access to. You haven't got the cash. You may be coming up against an opponent uh, uh, for a share of a property, for example, and you haven't got the cash to issue the claim. So the other side can just go, go on, I dare you. So it's quite uh, uh, significant the, that, the, that the issue fee can be quite high. And again, that dissuades uh, litigants from pursuing a uh, claim. Now, I should hasten to add that in spite of those problems, uh, you know, hand on heart, uh, you know, we have run successfully no win, no fee litigation, for example, in cohabitation property disputes where the claim value was that high. Um, I actually ma managed to find a clever route through so we didn't have to pay uh, a very large uh, issue fee. We, we issued proceedings under Part 8. but um, So there are always ways to deal with the problem and indeed uh, the other thing is that, th that we made it crystal clear to our opponent that if he didn't uh, settle what was a reasonable claim he would have the burden of an issue fee of seven grand in this case to have to pay Yeah, um, if we issued and then he lost. So that actually applied pressure on our opponent. But anyway, the, it, it, that's an important sea change in the law that you, that the civil procedure rules that you need to be alive to. Okay, so uh, that's a quick whistle stop tour around uh, the court system. Courts varies in terms of their competence, their excellence across the land. I'm not going to name names, but uh, sometimes it's better to issue at one court than another court. Courts in order to get uh, better, um, better service. Basically, claims can take a long time, anywhere from three to you know two years for a, an average size claim. Um, now I will just finally say one thing about the small claims system itself. The small claims track is a really good service and I actually used it many, many years ago when I was much younger before I was a practicing lawyer to, to sue a film editor actually who um, I'd lent, uh, lent £2,000 to work to dream. Sometimes you just have to drag uh, as often as not, you just have to drag an opponent kicking and screaming to court uh, in order to, um, in spite of all the touchy-feely pre-issue mediation and ADR and negotiations and attempts at settlement, ultimately I'm afraid, again in this moneyed world, people are like ostriches, they'll bury their head in their sand and they'll help the problem go away and actually ultimately, as often as not, the only way to get them sit up and see sense is when that particulars of claim slaps onto the doormat. All right. A marvellous way of concentrating somebody's mind. And the small claims track, as I say, this uh, whole website is um, general litigation, but perhaps with an emphasis on small claims, is an excellent service and uh, that can often work wonders. Good. I hope you find this site of value and uh, yeah, look forward to hearing from you. If you need any support, help, support service, 
on your small claim or if you need representation on a fast track or a multi-track claim then please do get in touch uh, at info at redwoodlegal.co.uk info at redwoodlegal.co.uk please please do email the, the story of your claim and any relevant documents as attached to the PDF that will mean it will be far more efficient for us to quote you a, a price for running your claim alright bye for now